Secondly, if any transporting or supporting of a load by one or more employees and uh, involves in lifting, pushing, pulling, putting down, moving or carrying. Here is the legislation to summarize any work you do, any activity involves the risk of your back injury. That is the concern of money handling. So health safety and welfare at work. There's a legislation and that defines the duties of the employer and the duties of the employees. And I'm sure you have already heard many times. And the safe place of work must be provided by the employer. And the safe access and exit, like in this office, we have, you can see, we have an exit. Okay? We have engines and exit. And safe plants and the machinery provides PPE. PPE, for example, I'm wearing a safety shoes. That is part of the job that the employer should provide to employee in case something heavy dropped on my toe and I'm protected. Duties of employee <coughs> will keep your workplace tidy and clean and the access clear, follow the procedures, use machinery correctly, report defects. Say for example you are doing the hoovering of your office. If the head, the power head is loosened and the lines clearly seen, you need to report it. You don't just pick up and fix yourself because you're not qualified electrician or you may not do it correctly. Just don't take it upon to yourself. Report it and you wear PPE and that's the duty of employee. Attending the training and don't... Another word is just to say to yourself, I will never put myself or the others in a dangerous situation. So can you all repeat after me? I will never put myself or the others in a dangerous situation. I will never put myself or the others in a dangerous situation. Yes, that's a very important <coughs> If you repeat yourself, you will always be conscious, okay? To know you're not putting yourself or the others. If something's not safe, don't do it. Make sure the hazard is eliminated. Okay, money handling, as you can see, it's a legal requirement and it, it is for prevent injury and improve your quality of life and keep you employable and uh, increase the productivity. Because if you are off sick, obviously the productivity, the productivity is done. So what are the injuries concerned with um, money handling? There are activities like jumping, bending, twisting, overreaching on the picture you can see all can potentially cause injuries. The cause, cause muscle tone and the wear joints and cause grazes and bruising herniation. So let's look at the, the human body. Why do we think it's important to protect your back? <coughs> so, how many people here who never suffer back pain? Hands up. Everyone. So, statistics in a white population is 100% people who suffer back pain some stage of their lives. Okay? The reason for that is we will, before human, Standing on two legs, we were all on four. And since we stand on two legs, it's about to happen. This is the back injury. So, how is the pain feel like, Martin? Mm -hmm. What the back pain feels like? Comfortable. Okay. Calf. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Ache. <coughs> Ache. Numbness, yeah, it's just very unpleasant. Okay, the back pain is normal. Fifty percent the pressure 
When you are standing, you change the position from standing to bending down. That is 50% increase in the pressure on your lower back. Your lower back should be like this, naturally curved. Because you're burning, you stretch. Okay, you stretch like that. You, you hurt your disc. So we're going to go in further. And then when, you sit, when you change position from standing to sitting down position, without back rest, you're going to increase 80% of the pressure on your back. So always sit with back rest. So there are, we all know, muscle pains, and we have re repeated strain injury. We do a lot of typing, you don't get yourself a rest. Our inadequate diet, okay, so all cause back pain, uh, the, the muscle pain. And the muscle is requiring a lot of protein. So if your diet is poor in protein, it will cause this repetitive strain injury. The ligament is the bone to bone connection. The spine, okay. What is, is the spine for? The spine is one running through your back. The spine is to protect your spinal cord and to allow movement to support your upper body and it is also the attachment for all your muscles, your internal organs, and your ligaments. <coughs> okay, so what is the spine made of? The spine is made of the bones, individual bones, <coughs> vertebrae. Okay, so between the vertebrae is, there is a disc. This disc is very fragile. This disc could, be in, could cause a lot of problems for us because it's there to absorb the shock. But sometimes if we pay the nervous system. Nervous system is in short the coordinates of all the activities of the body and enables the body to change or adapt the changing environment of your inside or outside body. Okay? Um, so the nervous system is very complex um, system. And I'm going to only mention the tip of iceberg today. Nervous system divided into central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system is the spinal cord and the brain. That's your central nervous system. Any nerves afterwards is called peripheral nervous system. So, let's take a look at the brain. The brain will tell you you have a pain somewhere, okay? Even the back is injured, but your pain is on the leg. That's because the nervous system, the nerves travels backwards to the brain to tell the brain. I have a pen here, right? So, the central nervous system, the function is to integrate and process incoming signals and uh, detect a appropriate response. So your brain actually tell you what to do. And when you touch something, you have control of I'm going to do this. That's your brain telling you. The structure is the brain has six parts. Okay? You have the telecephalon, that's the main part. You have brain stem, you have spinal cord, that's the structure of the central nervous system. The brain itself has frontal lobe, the occipital lobe, and the priority rope and the temporal rope, okay? And then you have, in the middle you have, um, it's called uh, hypothalamus, thalamus, it's in the middle, it's called midbrain, and you have, um, it's complicated, it, there's a brain stem right behind this occipital lobe. And uh, these are the most important organs in your body. Brain itself can't feel the pain. If 
it, the skull has been opened and people, you know, they try to press the brain itself, it doesn't feel the pain. But the nerve system from all over your body is feeding into the brain where the pain is. So when you get a back injury, the spinal cord is between the peripheral nerve system and the brain. It will transmit information from the peripheral, your body, into the brain, to feed the brain. And in this, you can see we have four sections. Cervical nervous, thoracic nervous, and lumbar nervous, and sacral nervous. And then the lower back is the most important when we come to manual handling. So when we do, when we work on the manual handling, we need to remember stance. Your stance should be natural. Okay, I'm not saying you straighten back. You can't really straighten those the natural curve S shape. So you say stand in a natural body shape. Mm -hmm. Stand natural, and as natural as possible when you're bending down to pick up any loads. Okay. So the nervous system, this picture should tell you everything about the peripheral nervous system, where, our, where the pain travels. And this is sympathetic system and this is parasympathetic. <coughs> Sometimes your body actually responds not automatically. So this is autonom autonomic uh, nervous system. And you can see there's a hidden in here. <coughs> Some people say, I have a back pain. This actually comes from the kidney problem. If you have kidney problem, you check with your doctor. Because <coughs> kidney problem can be, can surface as a back pain. You feel back pain, it's actually kidney. So it's connected to the back, okay? So, the back pain is, you don't have to sit down all day because sitting is putting strain on your back. So you can change your workstation into you can stand do your type. Okay? So you can design your workstation and to ease your back pain, ease your back strain. And also movement is medicine. So every day, if you have to walk by sitting down, you can stand up in two minutes just to relax do a little bit of movement. Movement is key. So now we already learned all the principles of money handling which comprises eight principles. You stand close to those, of course before you do anything, you assess the situation, tire, okay? You do assessment and you stand close to the load, broaden stable base, look forward to align spine, bend knees, firm palm grip, arms in line with trunk, move smoothly using the power of the legs, follow your feet. Now, to help you remember these eight principles, I have a sound. So <laughs> let's listen to this sound. Every low you take, survey load and place. Tap low, get close, keep base apart, I'll be watching you. Every low you take, survey low and place. Tap low, get close, keep base apart, I'll be watching you. Bend your knees. Hold the low with hands. Look forward, always head straight. Every breath you take, every move you make, every bone you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Start, push, pull, or lift. 
You only use muscles on your leg. Because make sure nobody can ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs>